So for people who might not know what we're talking about here, you know, kind of walk us through when did this start and, and what exactly was this? Walk us through. Is that a pun? Oh, uh, I didn't line. even mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, because I couldn't at one point. I, I did do a what happened video because there was kind of like these pictures and I wanted to update people and just didn't want to disappear off social media or YouTube. And even though my ego and my pride uh, didn't want to share myself and my low point, I'm so happy I did now because it, it did speak to a lot of people. I've made a lot of friends since then. But going back to the beginning, uh, morning, like late January on a Sunday morning, I had one of the best workouts, which is must be a sign of the jinx that's coming. I had one of the best workouts I had on a Sunday morning around 9 a.m. But my back was a little stiff. But I thought, you know, obviously, you've spoken to a lot of wrestlers. Our backs and our necks are eventually going to hit a wall at some point. And about three hours after my workout, I was completely stuck right in this chair that we're talking to each other in right now. I could not get up. My back was completely at the time thought locked out and my wife literally had to come home and peel me out of this chair and put me in the bed, threw me on a heating pad. Then it just progressively got worse within seconds, not minutes. Now, I mean, literally after it was over, it just uh, accelerated whatever pain I had from the beginning. And then I turned into from having a heating pad with assistance from her to walking with a walker. So from 9 a.m. to about 12, 15 p.m., my entire world, my entire life just completely changed. That's the very beginning. And then the, the just the desperation of trying to find a doctor, trying to find a surgeon, trying to find a hospital that can correctly diagnose me. And, you know, we went to a first hospital where they couldn't find a diagnosis. Then we ended up in the Mayo Clinic and they saw from the week I had a CT scan in the previous hospital to the week that I was admitted in the Mayo Clinic, it had already eaten like half my L4 and L5 and like the entire disc was gone and it was already working into L2, L3. So Mayo Clinic was really scared that at this pace within a week, this happened. Number one, even if we don't know what's wrong with this guy after a painful spine biopsy, we're going to start them on broad spectrum antibiotics right away because we got to stop this infection because if it gets to his brain, it doesn't take a, a super intelligent person to figure out if an infection gets to your brain, it's, it's over. Mm -hmm. So it was really like, we need to hurry up and figure this out. So that, that was the beginning stages of what I needed to get done. So how did this go from my back hurts? Maybe it's from 30 years of wrestling. Maybe it's from the workout I had today or yesterday to like, oh, this is bacterial. This is an infection. This is something way bigger, way scarier. Well, about maybe eight, nine months before that, I was over one of my best friend's houses and his dogs got kind of freaked out by something. At the exact moment they got freaked out, both of them, you know, I was leaning over petting and this was like maybe, maybe the third or fourth time I pet the dog in the same exact manner in this visit but something freaked them out and spooked them to where the one dog bit me right in the face and kind of like right through my lip here mm. all the way through. And then the other dog bit me in the leg because I got scared by the other dog that bit me. So it was like a recipe for a disaster, but you know, it was a dog bite. I was like, okay, well, it's a dog bite. No big deal. Not yeah. a stray dog, not a feral, not any of that stuff. So we went to the emergency room. They stitched me up uh, up here. They left the leg open. And then I got COVID four days later, which knocked my immune system down. By the way, this is still absolute pure speculation, but maybe an educated guess on the doctors, infectious disease, and then us trying to piece it together. Um, we think that might've lowered my immunity. Then even with that, the doctor claimed, this is where I was like, you know, I'm in a great deal of pain, but at the same time, I'm like happy that the doctor put me over because he's like, hey, thank God you work out so hard and you do this and that because other people, it would have been a lot worse or would have happened a lot faster. And you're like, oh, I'm system. glad you noticed. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I, I, as I do this, I got the eyes, <laughs> the pick line, everything in my arm. I was like, I forget I was sick for half a second, but <laughs> hey, I still had an ego, but the fact that I worked out so hard and tried to take care of myself as best I could, 
over these years um, definitely did, according to the doctor, save my life. So overtraining is awesome. <laughs> <laughs>